Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So today we got a little bit uh, different kind of an episode, and we, it's kind of a viewer, uh, excuse me, a, a viewer request um, at some level. Um, one of my subscribers, a viewer named Dave, uh, who's local around here, um, contacted me uh, by email, and he's got a little problem with a stuck load cell. Now, uh, what does that mean? So what he's got is he's got a big steel bar that's the top of a load testing machine and it has a large um, electronic uh, load cell, 20,000 pound uh, load cell uh, that's married to one end of it uh, that needs to become uh, unmarried um, to the steel bar. Anyway, he tried a few things and, uh, and without luck, so he contacted me and uh, dang it if he didn't get my interest going on the thing. So uh, we're, he's coming over today. It's Sunday uh, before the 49ers game here in the Bay Area, and uh, we're going to try to bust this thing loose and, uh, uh, in time for him to, uh, to watch the game. So uh, he should be over here in uh, a little bit, and we'll get a look at the piece and the part, and he can meet Dave, and uh, we'll get cracking on some, uh, some stuff. So we got, we got a shop, we got two guys, we got tools. This ought to be good. Okay, so uh, Dave dropped off the, uh, uh, this load cell project here, and um, this is the deal here. So this is the load cell. Um, this is the, probably the crosshead of the machine here. Uh, and this is uh, solid steel here. It's uh, 100 millimeter square, and, um, and um, geez, it's uh, you know, 480 millimeters long. So it's got some weight to it. Um, Anyway, uh, what Dave wants to do is he wants to remove this from the block because they want to put this on a different machine uh, um, or use it for a different purpose, something like that. Anyway, uh, Dave uh, uh, tried a couple things on here and um, they actually tried pressing it and uh, heating it to, to break it loose. And um, so what I suggested is that we just try unscrewing it. And uh, apparently that works, and uh, because uh, it comes out. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, no, no slight to Dave because it was stuck good, and uh, but uh, this job was a little easier than I thought it was going to be. I, I had visions of, uh, of, uh, of milling the bar in half and having to uh, go through some gyrations. So what I end up with, I get a, a Dave uh, donated this uh, nice piece of steel to the uh, Ox Tool Shop here, which uh, we'll make good use of. And uh, there is going to be some machine work, so uh, we're going to modify this little part a little bit, and uh, so we'll get some uh, some machining video uh, uh, shot here. So okay, so we got the uh, the threaded stud out of the load cell, and what we're going to do is. Uh, on one side of this, we're going to put a, uh, a, um, a convex surface, and on the opposite side, we're going to put a concave surface. So um, it's not real specific. It just needs to be higher in the center than it is on the outside edge. And um, so we're just going to kind of step turn that a little bit, and then we'll blend, uh, we'll blend the steps in. So. pressure on the Z and then I'm feeding out and watching the, the chip thickness there. Let's see what that looks like. 
Okay. And then you can kind of see the, uh, the offset there, hopefully, in the video. Um, all right, so we'll smooth that a little bit and break that edge. And uh, um, actually, you know, it's got a little mo too much of a point in the center. I think I'm going to work a little more. You can see I'm clamping on the threads here, but you know with these six jaws, I have a lot of contact, and I'm not really reefing on the uh, on the chuck key here very hard. So. All right. That looks better. All right, let me do a little smoothing on that, and then we'll. Uh, do the other side. Well, you see, I'm, I'm cleaning the uh, the crud out of the file with my hand so that I don't put scratches in this or any more than uh, than necessary. And then I turn it over every once in a while. See a chip. Now this is a lot harder to finish after the fact, so uh, we want it to come out pretty good. shattering or misbehaving. And you can see how broad the uh, hopefully you can see how broad the cut is by looking at the chips too. You can see that it's a full width cut.
All right. So sometimes knowing when to stop is the most important part. Okay, here's a close-up of the uh, the form tool that we used for uh, cutting that uh, concave surface there. Uh, and this is just you know 13 millimeter thick tool steel here with a large radius ground in it. Um, I don't know what that radius is. It looks like it's about. Uh, I don't know, a three or four inch diameter, something like that. So um, um, anyway, just showing a close-up of that.